How is it going everybody? You're watching that about tech. So if you're planning on buying a pre-owned used iPhone, this is the video for you because I'm going to teach you how to run a full diagnostics here on the iPhone. The coolest thing about it, it's completely free. So with this diagnostics, you're going to see if everything is fully working on the iPhone. So all of the components, the sensors, absolutely everything on the iPhone, if it's pristine and working, and then you can decide if you want to go through with the purchase or not. So without further ado, let's begin. So the way this is going to work is super simple. We're going to download an app. So if you have the iPhone that you want to buy with you, you're going to go ahead and download it on that iPhone, right? But if you don't have it with you, no problem. You can ask the seller to go ahead, download the app on the iPhone, right? run the test and then share the results with you. We're going to do this step by step and you're going to see how easy it is. OK, so let's go ahead, open up the app store, then go to search. And the app that we're going to use to run the full diagnostics is called Phone Doctor. OK, so Phone Doctor, as you can see, tap on search. And there we go, that's the app. It's completely free, okay? You can tap here on the arrow. Uh, it has a paid version, a premium version, but we don't need to pay for it, okay? My version, the version I'm gonna use in this video is the free version, okay? So let's go ahead and open it up. And it's gonna ask for a ton, of course, of permissions because it's gonna test everything on your iPhone. So you can allow Bluetooth, uh, notifications, location and so on okay here you can tap on i have read and i agree and as you can see right here everything you need to do is tap on the display button okay uh stick around because you need to interact with the app okay you need to actually interact on a few steps so that's why i said i'm gonna do a step by step with you okay so let's go ahead and tap on play and as you can see it's gonna start doing some of the stuff on its own as you can see right there, so let it do its thing. As you can see right here, it's asking to access the microphone. You can tap on OK. It's gonna play a few sounds. If you see any kind of errors, the the yellowish uh, orange uh, circle, no problem. We can take a look at them later, okay? So it's testing microphones and everything as you can see. Right here, it's gonna ask about camera. You can allow, so OK and it's gonna test the flash as you can see in the back it's gonna test absolutely everything as you can see all of the components as you can see microphones speakers uh earphones you can test i don't have earphones compatible with this iphone but if you have you can go ahead and plug it in okay it's gonna recognize and work so it's gonna be orange because it, i couldn't test it out but of course if you have compatible earphones you can plug them in okay so wi-fi cellular bluetooth barometer it's gonna keep going it's gonna test absolutely everything it just takes a couple minutes now multi-touch so go ahead here and tap with two fingers there we go with touch is working proximity sensor so bring it close to your ear and i've just done so you got it as you can see right there it's also gonna ask for right here the gyroscope the accelerometer so as you can see it's like playing a game right gyroscope as well so you can move it like that great and compass so let's go ahead here and do a 360 great as you can see it's testing everything buttons so volume up great volume down awesome uh side here your side button with the volume up and it's also going to take a screenshot now it's going to test the front camera so perfect seeing the front camera i can tap on ok i'm seeing that it's great so i can tap on ok so i'm manually saying it's good because the app can't assess that right rear camera also great Tap on OK. Uh, telephoto, if your iPhone has it, I do recommend that you go ahead and point at a landscape because it's gonna focus really far away. Since I can't do that, it's gonna be really blurry, but if you point at something far away, you see it's working, great, you tap on OK. As you can see, it's gonna keep going as well. Right now, the ultra wide, you can test the ultra wide, great, so tap on okay. And then wireless charging, if you do have it, you can go ahead and tap on yes. And then I can go ahead here, bring my wireless charger, place on it, it's gonna detect. And as you can see, great, it already worked. I can remove. Now, 
I can test the screen, the touch. So I can go ahead here and it's kind of playing a game, right? So I'm gonna go ahead here and go through all of the squares. So then the app is gonna make sure that absolutely every single part of my display, of my touch screen is actually working. See how smart it is? It's testing all of the touch screen. Here, it's checking for unusual defects or screen uh, uh, coloring or something like that. So it's giving a perfect blank. If you don't see anything, let it go because it means it's working. If not, you could use that black screen to tap where it was a little bit weird. And that's super common with, if you have, for example, a replaced display, right? Here, front face detection, great. Rear face detection, I'm gonna do it like that. Awesome, connector, so put it on the charger, just like that. As you can see, charging, awesome. Now it's testing for front face again, probably face ID. Yeah, that's it, face ID, great. Now the LiDAR scanner, so the 3D, so let's, as you can see, it's actually scanning the area. LiDAR is working in NFC. This one is probably gonna be a little bit hard to test. You need to have a NFC tag or something. Since I don't, I'm gonna tap on skip. I just don't have that with me. If you do have an NFC tag, tag, you can test it. As you can see right here, this is the full report. So with this, you can see absolutely everything here that's working or not, and that's it. If, as I mentioned, the phone you wanna buy, the used iPhone you wanna buy is actually with the seller and you don't have the phone with you, you can ask them to run this test just like I showed you and then share it like that to you. And then you'll be able to see absolutely all of the information and all of the data right here. So the, the blue dot means it's working. The orange one means it's not working or maybe you didn't do it. In this case, earphones and mic. As I said, I don't have a USB-C compatible uh, earphone with me. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, so it has the, the new USB port. I just have the Lightning one, so that's why I couldn't test it. But if you do have it or the seller has it, just plug in the, the earphones and then it's gonna be uh, blue right here if it's working, right? And then vibration, for some reason it didn't work. Let's take a look at that. So uh, we can just close this and uh, as you can see, everything is blue, everything is perfect and we have here vibration. So let me just go ahead and tap on uh, place on a flat surface, right? And start processing, it's vibrating. I'm hearing the vibration. And as you can see, it's blue now. It, it has detected right vibration. I can tap on completed and then it's blue now. So it's fully working. So as you can see, this is a brand new phone and everything is fully working as you can see right there. Um, absolutely everything. I just couldn't check NFC and the earphones, right? But, and you were probably thinking about this right now. What about battery? Because it couldn't test battery and that's right. We have to take a look at battery. So the easiest way to check how new the battery is and if it's new and everything is by simply going to your settings and then scrolling down right here until you see battery and then wait for it, battery health and charging and take a look at the maximum capacity right here, 100%. This means that this battery is brand new. As I said, this is a brand new phone. But of course, this number could be manipulated. So if you don't really trust the seller 100%, there's a way you can actually check the actual, the real maximum capacity on any iPhone battery, and that has to do with the battery cycles. I do recommend that you take a look at this video right here. There's a card here or a link in the description where I show you step-by-step step how you can see this, the actual maximum capacity by checking the cycles, okay? As I said, this number can be easily manipulated and that warning saying that the battery was replaced it could be manipulated as well. So if you don't really trust the seller, you can check their information with the battery cycle, cross check, and then you'll be 100% safe, okay? So that's literally it. That's how you run a full diagnostics on your iPhone and check for all of the components, all of the sensors, absolutely everything on your iPhone. Please keep in mind that this is not 100%. Unfortunately, some people are really smart with this and they can kind of manipulate all their information that phone doctor will check, but that's the maximum you can do without actually opening the iPhone, okay? Software-wise, that's the maximum you can do and you are like 99% safe, 
okay so as i said that's the maximum we can do and it's free right so i do recommend that you use this if you're planning on buying a used iphone okay so that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next videos usual guys bye bye